simple for foam firefighting system. Okay, we'll go now inside the foam room. Okay, now I am inside the foam room and you can see the foam system and I will try to explain each and everything in this foam fire fighting system and uh, first of all I will try to show you the control panel from where the system is operated locally so this is your high expansion foam main control panel and if you see you can see the power source emergency source and uh, foam pump overload alarm emergency fire pump abnormal alarm all those alarms you can see and this is your buzzer and you can do this testing this is your buzzer lamp testing and this is your pump current indicating amp meter and you can see uh, various portion where the foam firefighting is covered for this ship foam firefighting is covered for engine room purifier room and emergency generator room so you can see for each and every layer like each and every compartment there is individual valves that goes to that particular section you can see engine room you can find two valves one and two buttons which is uh, open close and engine room discharge engine room discharge is a glow lamp and the other two are push button and the same way you can find for the purifier room and uh, emergency generator room and down you can find the foam suction valve operating push button and sea water suction valve operating push button and foam pump operating push button and emergency fire pump operating push button here you can find the instruction to operate anyone who is new or uh, if anyone out of crew on board wants to operate the foam firefighting system they can read this and uh, they can operate the foam firefighting system so for operating this it is very simple all the time this system should be in auto mode so in case if there is any fire it will operate automatically and uh, if you want to do in manual mode you have to follow the instruction like whichever area you want to do fire fighting suppose you want to do engine room fire fighting you just press the open button the valve will open and uh, you have to open the foam suction valve which is here and you have to open the sea water suction valve it is here and you have to start both the fire pump and the foam pump so the system will start the foam will get flooded into that particular area and the fire fighting is done now i will go for more information so this is your fire line valve which is connected to the foam system this fire line valve it is the discharge of fire pump and it should be kept open all the time and uh, this valve this valve is your foam valve and this you can see here there is a name plate indicating foam suction valve normally closed so when you want to operate this you have to open either you can open it 
from here just open it will the valve can be opened and you can see the indication over here now it is closed if it is open the red mark will be in uh, vertical position so this valve is the suction for foam pump this is the foam pump you can see and this foam pump is connected to the you can see the pressure gauges pressure gauge for pump outlet pressure gauge for pump inlet and proportional inlet all parameters you can see from here you can see the parameters of the pump performance and you can see the pressure switch this is all the pressure switch for purifier room engine room and egr that is emergency generator room whichever if it is in auto mode whichever area got fire this pressure switch will activate and uh, the foam suction valve will open automatically and the foam pump will start and it will do the supply of foam and the fire fighting will starts so when the pump starts it takes suction from the tank you can see the tank suction this is a tank suction and from the tank suction it will come to this area this line you can see this foam liquid valve check valve well, this should be normally opened and there is two valves foam liquid valve and it should be also normally kept open so this goes and this goes this is connected to the fire line so you can see two lines one one is your protect control valve this is your protect control valve and this valve is for for a test valve and this is also kept open all the time and you can see the indication of this valve it's now closed when during operation it will be in open so you can see from the fire line it comes through this way and this is your fire line main valve this can be operated from here this is sea water suction valve if you open this this valve will open and you can find the indication in open position so now the system will be full of water fire line water so when the foam starts and uh, the foam will get it's get with the sea water and uh, foam is produced and this is the main line for the foam outlet so you can find three valves three valves one over here this is one valve and you can see this is for emergency generator room the second valve is here and this is for your purifier room and third valve is here and this is for your engine room so this is how the foam fire fighting system works so whenever there is any fire the fire pump will start so before the fire pump starts the fire main line this valve is open so the fire line is filled with the sea water and the suction valve for the foam foam will start opening and once the foam suction valve is open the pump will start so whichever compartment is in fire that pressure switch will get activated and that pressure switch will open 
uh, we'll give uh, uh, it will give the signal to open the valves over here you can see three valves and these three valves get signal from the pressure switch from the sensors which is in it respected zone suppose if it is a fire and purifier room then the indication will come so that that particular valve will get opened so now uh, this is how the purifier uh, purifier fire fighting emergency generator room fire fighting and engine room fire fighting will happen with the help of foam system and now you can see the tank red color tank see you can see the tank this is your foam liquid tank you can see the tank and you can monitor the level of foam with the help of this gauge glass you can see the gauge glass over here and you can i will go on tank top and climb you can see a manhole over here this is tank top of uh, foam liquid tank and uh, you can find a valve here you can see the valve here you can see this is your vacuum valve you can see you can see it is a vacuum valve basically it's a vacuum breaker for uh, this foam system and uh, okay i'm coming down and if you want to take uh, any samples for river uh, foam because every 6 months you have to test your foam sample in order to ensure your uh, foam liquid is uh, qualified and certified by the classification society it is worth for doing foam fighting so very simple for taking a sample open the suction valve manually and uh, you have to close this valve these two valves so you close this valve and you have to open this valve this is a recirculation valve so this recirculation goes back to the tank that means you run the pump you run the foam solution tank to tank uh later you can stop the pump for some time and you can while pump is running you can take sample from this sampling area so and also you can see a safety valve over here if there is any over pressure the safety valve will get released and it will avoid the any damage in the lines so i believe this information about foam system must have given you some idea about how foam fire fighting system on board any ship looks like thanks for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe thanks for watching guys